Happy April 2nd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, we met a frightening creature who promised to answer our questions if we answer its riddles. I put off looking at the answers until uh, until now, in a moment, uh, to give me some time to think. Um, maybe you've thought about them, too. For each one we get wrong, we lose one health. I've written down my guesses here, such as they are, and now we get to see how poorly I did. <laughs> so here we go. Riddle one. Light as a whisper, but not merely air. A trace of the sky with beauty rare. In the wind I may drift or tether an artist's quill or bird's warm weather. I bring flight, but never fly. Always high, but not in the sky. What am I? So this line here, an artist's quill or a bird's warm weather. The bird part is weird, but... Uh, and then I bring flight, but I never... I don't know. I'm thinking feather. I wrote down feather. And the answer is... Feather! <laughs> we got it. Okay, excellent. That is uh, exactly one more than I, th I thought I would get. Riddle 2. In many a creature you'll find me within, strong and steadfast, under fur, feather, or skin, structure in silence, no voice of my own, yet without me no movement is shown. Not seen, not heard, but always known, what am I that's never alone? And so, I'm torn between uh, skeleton or muscle. This line, let's see, strong and steadfast under fur, feather, or skin, structure in silence. That makes me think skeleton. Um, but the line about no movement, without me no movement is shown, made me think maybe muscle, because things that don't have skeletons can still move. I'm thinking like worms. <laughs> okay, let's go with skeleton. Uh, riddle two answer, bones or muscles? Okay, I'm giving me that skeleton that's two sweet better at this than i thought riddle three i creep upon you quiet as a whisper no foe no friend just a constant visitor i'm felt in palaces and in slums only sated by what to the mouth comes neither seen nor touched but always under what am i that gnaws like thunder the the last line has me i'm not sure about this one i put time Maybe our age. These are guess. This is my best guess. So we'll go with my first choice. So we'll go with time. Riddle three. The answer is hunger. Okay, that that makes that makes more sense. Gnaws like thunder. That's a little weird, but okay. Um, I'll take it. We got two out of three. That is that is far better <laughs> than I thought I was gonna do. So okay, I lost one health. Ivy's down to 10. Sorry, Ivy. And, okay, that is done. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh, boy. Okay, this is, uh, this is a lot of reading. Um, looks like we have different areas of the map. Hold on, let's look at the map. Map, map, map. Yeah. So this top, the top left one looks like this desert area over here, not far from where we are. We're in Harkin Run. We came from Crown Spire, so it's just over these mountains here. And, uh, it's kind of a river delta area. That's right up here. Also, again, not terribly far. Um, just going off the distance between Crown Spire and Harkin Run. We're here somewhere. Um, and so there's the desert area, there's the river delta, Mount Snowy Mountains, okay, that's way up here, Saber Hold, um, and the river delta looks like Mud Brook or Sun Bell, and then the last area, some forest, maybe over here, mm, hard to tell, somewhere along here matches the trees, I think, yeah, I'm thinking it's over there, okay, so I don't know why. Let's, uh, we've got some reading to do. Okay, 
As the owl divulges the location of the guardians, he lets out a solemn hoot. All right, let's, um, I think it's time for another voice. And I think it might be, I think it might be time for uh, a Sean Connery. So, um, apologies, Mr. Connery. But here we go. <clears throat> uh, seek the guardians, you shall. But heed this advice. The path to them is perilous, and their trust is not easily earned. Prove your worth and noble intentions by aiding those in need along your journey. Only then will the guardians consider revealing themselves to you. Nagaya. So now he's going to talk about four, it looks like four forest guardians. So the first one. Nagaya, the serpent guardian of the white sands of stability would sooner eat you than hear your pleas. The viper's sanctum, a concealed paradise, levitates atop the arid sands, shrouded in enigma. All right, so that's, <laughs> yeah, there's a floating island here. So that's cool. Okay, number two of four. Karkinos, the crustacean, guarding the crystal waters of clarity, will crush you in its claws. In the inundated river's delta, the crustacean dwells within an obscured sanctuary of silt, interred beneath the aquatic veil. Okay, so Karkinos is going to be up here. Three of four. Um, I hope this isn't terrible, you guys. Uh, Aurelia, Aurelia, the phoenix guardian of the golden drops of divinity, is likely to take pity on your plight. The bird of fire slumbers at the zenith of the towering pinnacle, a realm where the breath of the heavens comes to a still. All right, so that we've got a phoenix on the top, I think, of some snowy mountains. Um, and last but not least, Thornheart, the twisted deer guarding the seed of life, might be sympathetic to your cause if you can again prove your worth. The grotesque stag answers a call in the shadow-draped forest amidst a glade of skeletal timbers devoid of life. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Connery. All right. Well, everyone. Oh, thanks for bearing with me through that. Um, that, my friends, is April 2nd. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you will join us. Thanks. Thanks for watching.